once again and on this video i'm just gonna be i give you a quick review of my course for uh college mathematics so if you're interested just stay tuned let's go so first of all i want to thank everybody for being back with me on my youtube channel and for watching this video with me um if you are a first timer in my youtube channel my name is talia nicole i'm a stay-at-home mom i'm an online full sound student for full sale anniversary where i go for graphic design i'm also uh, i own a small craft business and i'm also a graphic designer and i i always leave my links down below so you can check my business and you can check what i do as a graphic designer um just um if you're interested to check what i do just go click the links and i'll appreciate it so i just want to begin with this like um i'm always gonna leave a video of each course that i do on full sale um and i know it's been a while since i post another video <laughs> um, my previous uh, class was art history i'm gonna leave the video link right here and on this class was college uh college mathematics and let me tell you <laughs> it's been a minute since i did any type of math and the first week it was okay i did okay on the lessons and stuff like that and the test but after that i struggle <laughs> like you have no idea i had to google everything because i keep watching the videos and i was just like man what is this like i cannot remember one single thing that i did in math before and it's been like seven plus years since i graduated from college in puerto rico in the first place so i don't remember anything and i was so good at math before so i would definitely recommend you to you need to to practice <laughs> because if you don't pass it you're gonna struggle but um on this class i'm just gonna give you guys like a quick review of like everything that i did um i i feel like some of the things are gonna be the same for everybody but i think once in a while they're always switching up the um you know like the tests and the uh, questions and stuff like that so um that's what i always say you need to practice and start looking it up because if not you're just gonna struggle the whole month Week one we just did like um a few lessons it was like eight lessons that we did and it was mostly to i would say mostly to prepare you to when you actually do the test um so it's like a lot of videos that you gotta watch and a lot of like exercise that they make you do uh, but the first week it was just lessons videos um and that's what i would say that it helped me to do okay on week two assignments um <laughs> but it was not easy week one besides the lesson videos um they give you a skill check where it doesn't uh it only costs two percent of the grade but it's to basically see where you at on math and on that one i did a 76 <laughs> um because some of the things were like yeah i remember this and some were like um what is that um but um on the lesson video and the assignment i did a 88 so that's better um on this week we have two lessons and we had two assignments from that from those lessons and then we have another assignment that it was called exploration of fraction and that cost eight percent of your grade and i will say that it's, it wasn't too hard i got an 85 uh, but each question cost like four i think it's four or five points so you definitely gonna make sure that you are putting the right answer because that's just gonna make your grade go down even more. Um, but definitely try the lessons. Each lesson, I think they give you two to three uh, attempts. And then the test, I think is either one or two attempts just to help you out. And then they will just take the higher score and take that as your final grade for that. So definitely keep trying. You can always go and just Google and start practicing because you just wanna make sure that you are getting good grades. It don't matter what course or class it is, you need to make sure you're getting good grades. For week number two, 
we did two more lessons and two assignments. So lesson three with assignment three and lesson four with assignment four. And on all of them, I on the lessons I did okay. I did like 80 some, but the assignments, this is when I struggle. Like, I don't know if anybody out there struggled the same with math, but oh boy, I had like 60s, 70s, I'm like low 70s because I was struggling. And that was even like going on Google and checking calculators and stuff like that for the pen what topic it was on the question. But man, did I struggle this week. Like from this to the end, I was struggling. I was just praying that I was just gonna do good enough to pass this class. Cause I was not trying to repeat this class. I'm not trying to do that. Um, but I did kind of okay. <laughs> At the end, I have a 70% uh, percent of, like, of that week for like all the assignments um so i'm okay with that as long as i pass i'm good if i i did my best like i said you don't want to have asked anything <laughs> but you want to make sure that you're doing your best and you're doing the most you can to get good grades like i always say that no matter what it is it can be the easiest class but you cannot just let it go or if it's too hard just give up and get an f that not because that would affect your grade and then that's just gonna push you behind on uh your co other courses when to graduate and all that and your gpa you don't want that to happen and my last assignment for week two was called exploration of interest you can google that it was um i think it was only one attempt on this one and it wasn't too hard like even the professor did that i did good on like answering the questions and stuff like that so i'm okay with that like on this week all the weeks you do like different things like you do fractions you do slope intercepts you do um parallel and uh what was the other one particular lines or something like that so you you need to practice like uh they got systems or liner equations they got graphics i wasn't doing math for a long time so when i actually like had to um learn how to do all this i was just like yeah um they even had definitions and formulas they have so many topics in there that if you're not good at math you need to practice you need to get those calculators in google and stuff because you will just struggle um i, I did a 70 percent sum on week two for everything included so i'm okay with that um and then on week number three uh we have the same we had two lessons two assignments uh and then they give you on the uh lessons they give you two attempts um so the best uh on the assignments i did okay and on the one of the lessons i did so bad <laughs> i got like a 40 some percent like i say each week was so hard for me i don't know what it was uh even we help and like trying to like see what the google calculators gave me other people were doing i was just struggling i don't know what it was i don't know if i'm the only one if there's somebody out there like me please let me know because i feel like i'm the only one that will struggle this bad on this class uh even if it's just a basic class for college like i did i still did struggle a lot um but at the end i got a high uh 70 again percent on the class we have exploration of graphs as the last assignment for this week um and like i say everything every assignment is different topics some of them they um repeat some of the not repeat the question but repeat repeat almost like what the problem is to be solved um so you know that's just they just change the words or the numbers so always check that out um uh, we did geometry formula geometry definitions with the um properties of shapes uh with the line and angles that wasn't too hard because i i remember that a lot from before but still like try and practice because you will never know what the actual question is gonna be so um definitely check that out i always um 
type some of the equations i tap it on google or i just try to find groups that they help people like tutor groups and um they will help you no answer the question but they will help you understand what the problem is so you can solve it yourself so always shake that um i'm not trying to say everybody and anybody to cheat you can always go and see what can help you because sometimes people share pictures of all the problems you can try anything you can to help you understand what you're doing because you just don't want to pass the class you want to learn as you go even if you just met you want to practice so definitely try this find any type of help you can like i said i always find different tutor groups the people where you're sharing stuff even if it was the same question or something close to it and that will help me understand okay that's how you do it because sometimes when you watch a video that the professors or um they provide they talk too fast like the videos are short so they talk so fast that you don't get the detail on how to do things and then you just like clueless and then when you see the actual question on your assignment you're like yeah this is not i'm gonna get a zero so always 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 check and always get any help that you can find on google and last but not least we on week four and on this week i did very good i'm proud of myself I did 81 overall on the week. So uh, like once again, we had two lessons and two assignments and we had to do a reflection discussion on this week. Um, and I got a 96 and by discussion, I mean you had to post something on a certain day and then you got to reply to either one or two of your classmates. Reflection assignment, you got to pick one of the websites that go with your mostly that it goes with your degree so if it's anything like myself my degree is graphic design so anything that has to do with graphic design you just click the link you gotta read it check it out and then the professor will give you a few questions to um answer it and then you just post um post your assignment and then by the post it was like by thursday Wednesday or Thursday and then by Sunday you gotta reply to one or two of your classmates and that will be the whole uh, assignment due. So I got a 96 on that. Um, so overall, like I said, on the week I did 81%. So that's great. The last assignments of the math um, test was like a statistic and data literacy. Um, we did measures. Uh, what else did I that we did? I think it was mostly measures and variants and stuff like that that we did in week four. Like I said, they can switch up how they do every week for like every semester. I guess they change it. So always check it out. Um, check like what's the basic stuff that they do here. Like I say, always go and check full sale. You can just click down on the link down below. Um, I always leave the link for full sale so you can not only check the other degrees they have but definitely you can check the courses and the a uh, little bit of description of the courses so you know what you're getting into um, so definitely check it out and um, I just want to say that overall I had a 78% in the class and I'm happy with it it's a high C and like i said some other people who might do better than me <laughs> some people might do worse than me so i'm very proud of myself that i at least passed this class um if you're interesting or if anything that you want me to talk about full sale um if you want me to talk about my degree or like when i changed my degree from digital cinematography to graphic design you can always leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the whole uh process or journey of myself going in school for this just hit me up um and i will definitely help you out thank you again for watching um and like i said this is just a quick review of my courses so stay tuned for more and i'll see you next time Bye bye